I'm heartbroken over this right here. Thank you and shout out to True Crimes Megan for um, pointing me to this story. I'm heartbroken over this. This happened in Memphis, Tennessee. This is one-year-old Callie Moore. Well, was one-year-old Callie Moore. She is deceased right now because of her auntie and her auntie's boyfriend. Monster number one is 21-year-old Kia Moore. That's her auntie. And monster number two is Dijon Smith. He's 34. This little blessing right here was rushed to the hospital in Memphis around 3 a.m. on Saturday and pronounced deceased at 4.01 a.m. The doctor said that she had fractures in her skull and her neck. She had massive bruising on her back. And there were some other things that was going on on her backside as they examined her body. It was actually body fluids coming out, red body fluid. They also said that she had a brain bleed, bruised kidney, high enzymes in her liver consistent with abdominal trauma. And she also had uh, red fluids in her lungs. This is the baby's mother, Kiera Moore. And she made a lot of Facebook posts insisting that her sister was innocent and explained, tried to explain away the bruises and the, and the uh, body fluids coming out of the backside of this baby. She was trying to say that this baby had birthmarks on its back that never went away and said that the red body fluids that was coming out of her bottom is caused from her being constipated. I truly believe that Kiera is uh, in denial. She's in denial. Her sister and his boyfriend did this. Now, here's the thing, this is my problem. She left her daughter with these two people, these two monsters, since Thursday. This baby had been with them since Thursday. What was going on? Were you working? Whatever. I mean, I guess that'll be explained later. I want to know why. The police said they found no baby food in that house, and it was so messy, they didn't know where the baby was sleeping. Now, monster number one and not monster number two, they both are blaming each other for what happened. Now, he's claiming that she was yelling in the back room while the baby was crying. And then he heard her slam the baby into the floor, walls, and wooden furniture about six to ten times. Now, the reason why I asked why Kiera left her baby with that monster is because her sister was already out on bond, a $90,000 bond, because she had been arrested previously last year for child ABUSE cases. And she has a court date for September. I mean, she already has four, four cases already against her, felony cases against children, a child. And you put your child in the hands of somebody who did this right here. I know people want to believe in their family and everything, but look, evil has no shape, form, or color. You don't even know who, even including your family, what they are capable of doing. The rage animal. I mean, animals don't do that. Skull and neck fractures, a bruised kidney, and even bleeding to the brain. These are the injuries police say a one-year-old little girl suffered at the hands of her babysitters. Neighbors in this Midtown community shocked and disturbed after learning what happened just doors down from their home. You see, one-year-old? Come on, man. Ain't got a chance to make it to the first grade? It's shocking. It's really shocking. Police report getting a phone call at 3 o'clock Saturday morning informing that the baby suffered a cardiac arrest at Labonner Children's Hospital. According to the affidavit, an hour later, the baby was pronounced dead. You can't make no sense out of something that crazy. Come on, now, can you? Investigators made the scene of the home in the 1000 block of University Street. This ring video obtained by Fox 13 shows detectives at the location. Fox 13 is learning that 21-year-old Kaya Moore and 34-year-old Dijon Smith are charged with first-degree murder and the one-year-old's death. My question would be, like, why? You know, why? Because the type of people that they come off as or, you know, that I see, I don't see them hurting kids. Now, according to police, the two suspects gave conflicting statements about what actually happened. I just saw this right here also. I mean, this right here is telling. This is very telling also. After reading a lot of posts and everything by the mother, you could tell, you know what I'm saying? This was her whole life. This baby was her whole life right here. You know, she talked about, you know, how that spirit of heaviness and everything was at bay. It was pushed to the side because of her baby. You know, let's continue lifting her up, lift up this family and everything, man. It's, this is totally sad. You know, those monsters deserve to be under the jail where the rebar is, where the ashes, man, you, you already know. I am heartbroken over this. We'll keep up with this right here to see what they're sentenced with.